hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and today i'll talk on a different topic so i'll talk about background verification uh, for those people who has done moonlighting now few days back i got a, a ping from one of the subscriber and also like couple of emails from multiple subscriber that they have done moonlighting moonlighting as you perhaps know that you have worked in a multiple organization at similar time and unfortunately all of them uh, had pf number like you know they are tagged to a un number and they have multiple pf account number generated in the same period of time and in most of the organization like if it is a cmm level 5 beep cmm level 3 moonlighting are strictly prohibited if an organization uh, like you know come to know that somebody is doing moonlighting they can fire their employees so a couple of incident happened from tcs cognizant last year and also uh, the, the main problem occurs is when you are going for the switch going for the next organization they'll go for the background verification and they can easily capture the U UAN number that you have worked uh, in a multiple organization in the same period of time and they will just uh, like you know mark red in your uh, background verification and eventually you cannot join that company so it's most of the cases in big companies so what options are left usually like you know people has done moonlighting they usually don't switch the company they usually try and continue with one organization and next one you, they can leave and also even if it is required for them to switch they possibly go for a small organization where there is no almost no background verification checks so there are a couple of small organizations with 10 12 15 employees or small startup there they do not have any like you know any infrastructure for background verification so this background verification is usually done by third party organization to make it more transparent they outsource this project to th third party and then third party organization will do the background verification now in this video i'll talk about how you can possibly uh, clear the background verification even if you have done moonlighting but this is completely educational video i don't endorse or i don't encourage anyone to go for moonlighting moonlighting is really bad for the employee and the employer as well for the employee it is a huge stress to continue two nine hours job a day almost impossible and also for the employer uh, they want us to work for nine hours and rest time they want us to you know take break uh, take spend time with our family so that we can get refreshed and join next day as a in fresh mind so that's what you uh, like you know it is not at all recommended however i feel there is a way that you can still like you know clear up your background verification now i'll quickly show you a scenario what happened with one of my subscriber let's assume he is in accenture and after working in Accenture, uh, while pandemic basically, because every company has given work from home, he was working in a normal shift. It's around nine to five or nine to six, whatever. And after that, he got uh, uh, offer from Techem. Now, if you know about Tech Mahindra, so there are a couple of projects, specifically support project. They have night shift. So night shift usually start from nine or 10 and it goes to 10 or seven so let's assume it is 10 pm uh, night to 6 or 7 am right so that is the time now in this scenario he is continuing working in, with accenture and in tech mahindra he is continuing from 9 to 6 now you might be wondering how a person uh, can work in a such a hectic schedule so the answer is in tech m <coughs> excuse me few of the projects uh, the support like you know for night shift support pro project are not so much hectic so they usually get ticket once in once in a while one or two and if one person is is multiple person is there so one person usually take the ticket and rest person is usually they take some rest so that that culture i have seen in the office itself you know in techm campus so it is not a person like you know who needs to like you know stay uh, awake for next nine hours it is not the case they will take rest somebody will uh, take uh, continue two and three hours then some 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 else somebody else will come so somehow they manage to uh, like you know uh, like uh, do this night shift so possibly he has done something and then he was continuing working in uh, accenture and take him now he got multiple opportunities uh, from uh, some other company okay by the time like you know he left uh, take him and he's continuing with accenture after certain time now uh, he want to leave accenture because he got a couple of good companies but he's uh, like you know thinking he might be uh, caught, get caught because 
like you know, in, in this service history, if you go to EPA portal and see the service history, it is clearly showing under his UN. At the same time, there are two PF number attached. One PF is from Accenture, another another PF is from TechM. So this is the main problem that he is thinking that his background verification uh, turns out to be negative. Now, what is the option here? The option here is uh, you need to first tell your employer that you haven't worked in TechM, you have worked in Accenture because TechM period was less and you have to give all the bank details of Accenture, not TechM. So ideally people, in this case, people usually take the salaries in both the diff different account so they can give the salary account of Accenture. That, that is one solution. And the next part of the solution is, which is very tricky, now, if you see the EPA portal, now I am showing my EPF, EPF like you know, service history for uh, so some definite reason. I have removed all the confidential in information, so you can see like the you know, sixth or like first, second, third, uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth. But before that, I also joined one organization. This is not my first organization. This is my second organization. So what did I? What I have done is I have entirely uh, withdrawn my EPF and EPS. Uh, fund basically so once i mean you might have aware that if you are contributing in epf so there are two parts one is epf and one is eps employee pension uh, scheme one is employee provident fund so uh, the, for the first organization uh, mistakenly i have applied for withdrawal i i actually i don't know that time that the that that time uan concept was also not there and i was not aware of the fact that uh, epf can be continued to the next organization so i applied i thought like this uh, money will be forfeited so i uh, applied for withdrawal of both epf and eps and i got the money after that i have seen they have entirely removed the record so this is the catch basically uh, so if somebody has worked in both the companies they can withdraw their tech m uh, like you know epf account if epf uh, entire eps and epf both the both the amount after three months so by the time their uh, services will be cleared the tech m in entry will not be visible here also for the employer perspective if i have logged in as an employee but employer can log in as an employer uh, in the epf service portal and with that un they can exactly see see the same record that here that here i'm display I, I i'm just showing right so they can also see like you know as clean services too because you have withdrawn your amount the services will be gone so this is i believe only a way uh, by which you can clear your bjb even if you have done uh moonlighting but having said that uh we, we should not go for moonlighting if you even if you are planning if you feel that you need some money there are option couple of options like you know you can go for freelancing you can go for uh, some other way in order to make money but dual employment is very risky in india and it is not allowed in most of the cases thank you